And I also um, like how you just instantly grabbed the GoPro from me. <laughs> this is Alex, he's on the other side of the camera. He's there. Alex has this amazing space, which is like 10 minutes away from my house. Five, ten, yeah, wait, it's like a, what was it, seven minute walk? Seven I minute think. walk from yeah. my house. I'm still very much recovering from the wrists and as I'm now thinking about things for next year as opposed to this year, Alex is going to be helping me sort of build strength away from cycling up in this place, peak performance, Est 2020. It's <laughs> only three years. Yeah, three years, yeah. Jeez. Kind of started just after the first lockdown, so yeah, it's grown rapidly, really. So Alex is also a professional footballer. We'll make him do keepy uppy tricks or something because I'm, <laughs> I'm terrible at football. I just played rugby. But basically, long and short of it, Alex is going to help me with strength training, injury rehabilitation, injury prevention, mm -hmm. and sort of general conditioning to improve someone who only really trains these things as opposed to everything. And we're going to work on that together. And we're going to, especially as we get further into the winter, we're going to do some stuff which is much more about strength training for cyclists, very focused, yeah. you know, training centric videos for cyclists and cycling people. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comments and we can focus on that more and more. I'm going to take the camera off you. So Chris's first session today, we kind of had a little um, consultation in last week yeah. kind of about what we want to gain from it and things like that. But like I say, it's mostly going to be over the winter when you can't get out as much. Um, spoke to you this morning, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like weight and strength training is going to enable you to put more power through the pedals initially. So say over a 100 kilometer race, you're not having to do as many pedal strokes, you're able to produce more force through your calves, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. So it's going to benefit you. Injury prevention areas we're going to work on, we've been working on today, is like your lower back, your knees, your hips. So we've done a bit of mobility stuff. We're currently on some leg stuff, which Chris is really enjoying, I think. Um, and then we're going to go on to some upper body stuff and then a bit of injury prevention stuff for his back at the end of the summer. So yeah. I'm not going to show you so much of that today, but I want to, I basically wanted to introduce Alex and let you know who he is and why you might see this random hench man appearing in videos. <laughs> but we will be, yeah, we'll be doing stuff more and more throughout the weeks and showing you some of that sort of as we said strength conditioning injury prevention stuff for cyclists which obviously this translates to other sports of course it does but as a cycling person we're going to try and show you how we can help improve that side of it <laughs> we're seeing more and more in especially in world tour level the top level of cycling that strength and conditioning training is becoming more and more of an important part of it to allow you to improve endurance explosivity comfort just general riding and good health stuff so now I'm going to go and carry some You've got one weights. more set of these split squats, which are not the nicest of exercises for your first week, but we've got to be done. It's what it is. Man tells me to do it, I've got to do it. Indian. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like an ancient mythical warrior character. Just like you're an ancient mythical warrior character. I am, yeah. And uh, Beamer had the strength of 10,000 elephants, apparently. That's why you're good at hills. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't weigh as much as 10,000 elephants. Could you luckily. imagine? So <laughs> I'm shaking holding this. It's a lovely summer day in the Peak District. Oh, how are you? And rocking up here in the Macclesfield Wheelers, a local sort of hill climb. And I've just done a nice two and a half hour ride today and then decided to opt into doing this hill climb, which finishes here. Starts down there. It's about three kilometers or so long. And Beamer's basically been organizing it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. Hill Climb Project. Better, That's right. Hillclimbproject.co.uk. <laughs> You've been doing this for a while? Yeah, this is uh, year three now. Nice. So, well, I had the idea in 2019, but then 2020 obviously didn't happen. Yeah. So then we moved it to 2021. And before then, we've always organised two hill climbs a year. Yeah. And I just thought, why not just start easy and do 16 next year <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah we just decided yeah let's just do it because this is our territory you know the roads we know yeah there's so many good hills everyone's always asking why aren't there any more races you know this is our like amazing that. landscape let's use it you know well, so Yeah, 
yeah, this is this is. I mean, literally, Derbyshire is on the other side of that fence. Yeah. And this is Cheshire, so yeah. I thought let's keep it on our turf, our turf. You know, this is about as far as we go. You wouldn't want to race up the other side of there anyway. I just drove up the other side of there. It's horrible. It's absolutely <laughs> hideous. Absolutely hideous. I've been up there. I've cycled up there. So this climb, 3k? I think so, yeah. Three-ish. Three-ish. Couple of hundred meters of climbing. Yeah. Average of about six or seven. You put me on the spot now. See, I, I looked at a little bit of the information that came out. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would say it's probably average about six or seven. It's a, it's a few steeper ramps and there's a bit of a half mile flat in the middle. So it's really good to do when you've already done a three hour ride today then. Perfect. So because I'm already I'm going to be really fucked. Three hours. Three hours, okay, cool. I finished that about an hour ago as well, so perfect timing, right? Perfect. You know you're a good hill climber when you've not done, you've just turned up, Yeah. and already the first thing you're saying is an excuse as to why you're not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> that is 100% expert hill climb technique you've got there. Do you know what so. my second excuse is? What? My legs, I think, weigh more than you. <laughs> if you look at the... Yeah, I think my well, one leg weighs more than you. I think my quad is probably the size of your arm, isn't it? <laughs> Are you going to go for National Hill Climb? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you there. This is, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. I think the National might be similar to this. I think, I mean, the fastest we've ever had up here was someone did over seven minutes, like 7.10 or something like that. I think the National is a lot longer than that isn't it but yeah. today i mean you know we might see people doing 12 minutes 13 minutes sort of typical the national hill climb this year is the struggle it's the struggle, it's the struggle. i rode that last year on the event organized for the air ambulance it's a really hard climb because it has a significant descent in it like it is a, a noticeable descent for like half a k and then ramps up again so it's it's brutal but the, basically the reason why i'm doing this is i dared my best mate to enter the national hill climb as well and we're now in a competition of trying to see who can beat each other i'm gone down the rabbit hole of making a bike very very light this is not the very light bike though the very light bike is not really rideable at the moment but yeah there's been this uh, battle between trying to get as light as we possibly can in terms of bikes not in terms of weight just in terms of our bikes but yeah i've got i've got some time to kill I'm going to put the 360 camera on the front of the bike, which weighs also weighs significantly more than a GoPro. <laughs> Up there. That is amazing. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet.
<laughs> but still strangely life affirming. <laughs> I was expecting you to appear. Oh, not a chance. Oh. Not a chance. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Like the proverbial. Mate, I went too hard. No, you did really well. <laughs> well, the last, like, the, after 500 meters, I was like, I've gone too hard. I've got to just try and survive now. Okay. And then I could then, you know, when the dribble starts appearing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's when I was like, okay, yeah, okay, I've still yeah. gone too hard. Okay. And then I was like, okay, it's <laughs> nearly the top now, so it'd be all right. Yeah, it levels off. Yeah. Catch a breather, do oh. it go again. I don't want to go again right now, no thank you. <laughs> can, can we stop now? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, the weather outside recently here anyway has been horrific so trying to get these longer sessions in at the moment three four hours or so and ending up having to do them indoors because the weather's been so grim effectively but i thought what i'd show you quite quickly with a four hour session is how i would be fueling this now i'm very lucky to work with sterka it's my mate's company i've been using it now since he launched it and i'm using that pretty much exclusively to fuel today's four hour session plus a can of Red Bull just in case this is like emergency so I've got in here 90 grams of carbs in the mix 90 sachet 60 grams of carbs there's basically one sachet between two bottles there one sachet between two bottles there bar 50 and three different gels the gel 90 gel 19 caffeine plus and gel 90 nitro plus They'll taste slightly different. This is the new style packaging. This is the previous style packaging. That they've slightly tweaked the flavors, but in my opinion, the new ones are even nicer than the previous ones. Packaging is basically more compact. It's the same amount of carbohydrates. So this all here is about 300 grams of carbs, which is a little bit less than I probably should have, but I've just had a big lunch as well. So 300 grams of carbs, four hours. I try and work down the basis of like one gram of carb per kilo of body weight. It's a lot. Yeah, four hours, I've got to do three 30 minute blocks in like mid zone two, and then the rest of it is just kind of as you are. But as the weather's been so bad here recently, I'm just getting on with it on indoors. So yeah, thanks for watching, talk to you soon.